Hi, my name is Chase Parrish. I attend Coleman Middle School. I'm 11 years old. I'm in sixth grade, and I go to Duluth First United Methodist Church. Right now, we are in our Lenten season, and for this week's Lenten devotional, I will be talking about how God says we need to love everyone, from our family, to our neighbors, to our even our enemies. If, as it said in Matthew 5, 43 through 45, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. I think personally, sometimes people need to understand this verse more because in our world today, there's so much hate and pain and violence. And we need to remember that we are all family in the body of Christ. But I think most people don't really know what that means or they don't understand what that really means because they hear that, but not a lot of people take it into action. And so I think a, ch a way to show that is when people get, get insulted, they, when they come up with that, like, perfect way to get back at the person they usually take that but being loving your enemies is saying i re i respect your opinion but i'm gonna work it out with you first and that way and doing when you have that insult come up with your head keep it to yourself i mean that's what love is, is when you have that idea, don't do it. Rethink it twice. It, would God say this? And if he wouldn't, why would you say it? Because you are made in the image of Christ. Another thing to remember. Another thing to remember when you have that insult is Matthew seven twelve. So when everything you do do to others what you would have to them to do to you would would you want him them to say that back to you would you react the same way you did would you make fun of them for do act, arguing that way well would you, when you make fun of them would you like it if they made fun of you that way um and so treat others the way you want to be treated I know you've heard that. I know you've hold, heard the golden room rule many a times ever since you are my age to however old you are now. But do you actually practice it? Do you actually do the work to do it? I don't think many people do it as much as they can. So just really think twice about what you're about to say and would God love if that was God talking to you, or if that was God you were talking to and you had that insult to tell him, would you actually say it? Because it's no different to say it to your enemy because your enemy is your family and the body of Christ. All right, let us pray. Lord Jesus, please help us through the way of Christ. I think people need to learn how difficult it may be to love our enemies but we need to do it because you love us and you want us to love like you i th you treat us all equally but we don't treat others equally please guide us through this Winton season and help us reflect your love on other people in jesus name i pray amen